Thank you, everyone. And it is great, so great to be here. So, wow, uh, where to begin? Uh, you all know me as Builder Man. We've been on this journey together for over 14 years now. And it feels like today we're just getting started. And many of you, I recognize you from 14, 10 years ago from our first Roblox rally at the Exploratorium. I wanna thank you all for being here. Many of us have literally grown up together. And in spirit of this, I wanna show you in five or 10 or 20 years, what my Roblox avatar is going to look like. That's where we're going. And uh, I'll be talking a lot about where we're going today. But I think the theme today is there's an incredible journey behind us, but there's also a great journey ahead of us. And I want to participate with you. So, hey, we, I really miss you all. Um, it is so hard presenting in front of you without being able to see you and interact with you and talk with you. So I'm going to look at this picture and use it to imagine we're all here together. And it's been a tough four months, you know, at Roblox, we have some people who are cooped up in homes with too many people. We have some people who are alone. Um, and we've had a lot of tough times here. Uh, and I know some of you might have as well, and some of you might be weathering this all by yourselves or in weird circumstances. I really wish we could be all together, but I'm hoping being part of this community can help in just a small way to help us get through all of this. And it's been a wild ride, you know, on top of uh, this separation and our ability to not be here together, we're going through a lot of cultural stuff as well. And through all of this, I, I'm pretty proud that Roblox has risen to the occasion and the vision that we had really 14 years ago of bringing people together is starting to play an important role here. Um, we've essentially jumped forward about a year in our company. And, and I think we've highlighted in the last few months the ability for people around the world from different backgrounds to come together and learn about each other on Roblox. We also see a lot of people who maybe aren't going back to school normally who are using Roblox as a way to connect. And we also see just a lot of people who have been physically separated. And the virtual birthday party on Roblox is, is starting to be actually kind of a fixture of how we work through this together. And then we're all just trying to make heads or tails of what's going on uh, in our world with this pandemic. I'm hoping, and um, I'm gonna be sharing with you a lot of vision of, of where we're going. We are very close to running this Roblox RDC on Roblox, and that's really where we wanna be. I wish we could all be together in Roblox, and I wish we could be at least connecting digitally if we can't physically. And I know someday we will, even when we have thousands of people. Um, so this has kind of been our, our vision and our mission of connect everyone together. And it, it's been the foundation of our notion of a human co-experience platform that doesn't just let us communicate, but lets us do things together. So we're, we're crushing it right now. Um, and in the midst of this unfortunate times, uh, more and more people are using Roblox to stay connected. By our best estimates, around three quarters of the nine through 12 year olds in the United States right now are hanging out on Roblox on a monthly basis. And what's really even more interesting is that our Roblox philosophy, which is, which is a little bit more create the environment for others to do great work, is starting to pay dividends as our players get older and they bring their friends together. The fastest things growing on Roblox right now are older players. And in the midst of COVID, we've seen an explosion of older players on the platform. So how do we get out of the way or how do we make it possible for really uh, Roblox to connect everyone in the world? I'm gonna talk a little about some of the stuff we're doing. It all really rests on great content from you, and then it's, it's about what we can do to help enable that great content. Um, I think many of you know this place, it's called Crossroads. I, John, Matt, Eric, we put this together really as one of the first Roblox places. 
And what's been so cool is our ability uh, from the start to let you all, with our good tools and platform, make things that are infinitely better than this. Uh, you've seen some improvements in our interpretation of physical reality, but over the next few months, as you've been watching what we've got going on, we're really gonna make an amazing leap into physically based rendering. And this follows the vision of Roblox, which is we ultimately wanna simulate the real world, physical, visual, and maybe even acoustical. I'll talk about that as well. And then let you decide how to build your experiences. Today, I just wanna let you know our vision for reality is always user generated. And ultimately, even the materials we start to offer and the way even a photorealistic environment looks will be materials that you all create rather than what we create. Because we want to support whatever style you want to style. Um, so iteration is a huge thing at Roblox. And, and we have the view that we can iterate from anything to anything, uh, almost like the human eye evolved from a few simple photo cells and the human eye iterated to what we have today. We're all kind of familiar with this current uh, foundation of our Roblox system. And we don't wanna lose this idea of combinatorialism. We really have this vision that long-term your body, the way you move and animate, or the clothing and accessories you wear can all be combined infinitely in any way. And we're not gonna lose that. So we're in the midst right now of building what we think is the most open-ended developer powered avatar system anywhere. And it's true to that vision, any clothing, any body, any motion and animation can always come together. And the cool thing about this is people think that UGC is the ultimate extent of this. We've been doing a lot of thinking about this and ultimately there's one step beyond UGC content and that is UGC creation. And there are so many different types of avatars that we're ultimately gonna want on Roblox that we're starting to believe it will be impossible for us to offer the editors for all of these avatars, which means we want to make it possible for you in your games to ultimately create avatars. And by that, I mean mesh manipulation, I mean deformable bones, all of the pieces we need in a game to create really a AAA avatar. So stay with us as we go through this vision together. Um, huge shout out to our search and discovery team. They have really driven the vision that long term will serve our players better and you better if players based on what they like, who their friends are, what they're doing in real time can find great content. Those of you that have been watching the recommended for you sort on our homepage, on our game page, have seen it start to be much more responsive and accurate. And our long-term long vision is we think there's enormous gains to be here. We're seeing incredible improvements in retention. We're seeing more users align with more games that make sense for, the, for them. And then finally, I wanna just give you a little hint. We know in addition to this, we need a better ad system. We're starting to poke around on that and you're gonna see some really cool stuff. Um, and we all know what could be possible with the world's greatest ad system built on top of our platform. What it means for you is, even if you make a really niche game, hopefully those users are gonna find it in a really easy, transparent, and automatic way. So besides connecting players of all ages, we really, we have this vision that Roblox will act as a universal translator and connect people around the world and allow them to hang out, to play, to communicate. And this is really heavily based on translation and heavily based on cool content that works everywhere. We used to, in the early days of Roblox, have the question, will some of the content our creators make work everywhere and we weren't sure but 
we think the jury's out on this. When we see Korea, Russia, Germany, France, the Philippines, Brazil, all growing very, very quickly with a fair amount of overlap with your content and countries like South Korea with a third of the nine through 12 year olds on Roblox, we're pretty optimistic that we can ultimately connect the world. I want to just give a shout out to our team working on translation technology and let you know in the next few weeks, it's going to start happening. By default, uh, initially for the top 1,000 or 1,200 games, everything that people make by default automatically translated into many languages. All of our tests show enormous lifts based on translated content. And they show that translated content works almost as well as human translation. Final thing to think about, uh, no date. We ultimately realize our players as well need to communicate across borders. And the technology we're using for translating your content automatically, we might someday use that to translate communication. And that's really the goal of the universal translator. Also want a big, a huge shout out for probably the team with the hardest job at Roblox, which is keeping Roblox civil and safe in the midst of all that we've got going on right now. And we have over 1600 now trust and safety people who moderate every image, every sound, the volume is enormous. And our technology teams working on content and text filtration, unbeknownst to all of us, because it's hard to see, are making enormous progress. The, and, and that reputation of Roblox, which uh, we stand behind and that we've leaned a little overly to the safe side, a little far to the lots of hashtag side, will ultimately be both more free and just as if not more safe with the final thing that we all know and which I'm going to promise you here today is ultimately your older players when communicating with their friends are going to have a lot more freedom than they have today. They just must, they need to. Um, so we have this, uh, we always fall back to our principles that Roblox wants to fade into the background and highlight the creation, not of ourselves, but of all of you. We're, we've started to see this in many ways on the developers creating brands. We ultimately believe that when there's a TV show or a movie or advertisers want to come to Roblox or brands want to work with Roblox, they won't work with Roblox, they'll work with you. And we're a little humble around this because you're making the interesting content. We think the first Netflix show or the first movie will be based on developer properties, not as a Roblox brand. And toys, uh, which are doing very well, and thank you for all of those of you who are in our STARS program, are really just the beginning and, and really are an example of how your creativity and your content not ours, can do so very well in the marketplace. We've shipped a lot of toys and we continue every year to break records with our toys. A lot more cool stuff coming. A very, very popular board game uh, might be coming this year for the holidays. I think we're all gonna be excited about that. And forever we've wanted Roblox Blasters. Uh, they're on the way as well. So lots of good stuff coming. Thank you for creating enormously incredible IP that then we can share with the world. So behind the scenes, um, I don't know if any of you ever had Builders Club in the very first days of Builders Club, but I remember uh, being on a camping trip and talking with Eric and we just launched it we were very excited because one day we had five new members join Builders Club. And back then Builders Club was a very primitive apparatus of more places to build on. Well, this has morphed into Roblox Premium and Roblox Premium, I'm happy to say is growing twice as fast as 
towards Roblox. Uh, we have a lot of people on subscriptions right now. And these subscriptions are part of the energy behind engagement-based payouts. Engagement-based payouts has been our vision that up and coming developers who are focused on engagement and fun maybe don't have the time yet to worry about monetization and we wanna reward the time spent in their experiences. Over 200 of the thousand top games right now on Roblox are making more revenue from engagement-based payouts than from Robux. And we're overjoyed with that. And we really have a vision that uh, developer number 1,000 based on engagement should be able to support themselves purely based on engagement-based payouts. A fun thing that's coming, once again, it, it stands kind of true to our notion of staying out of the way, is not Roblox premium subscriptions, but your ability in your experience to offer a subscription and to interact directly with our users, um, to create a subscription account with that user for your experience that will renew every month and give you a more repeatable revenue stream when it makes sense to you. Okay, where are we going? Uh, we really think we're building a new category. We call it many things, the human co-experience platform, the imagination platform, or the metaverse. And our belief is this is a category on par, if not more significant than media and movies, than social networking, than gaming. This is ultimately the dream of so many of us for so many years, uh, way back to the science fiction community, and we think it's gonna ultimately play out. We have our own personal vision of the metaverse. It's eight things. They all have to come together. I'll go through them very quickly. Me and my digital self as an avatar. My friends, both the ones I find on Roblox as well as my real life friends coming together. Uh, connecting people around the world globally and connecting frictionlessly. And that's a technical term for instant join times into millions and millions of experiences. And there's gotta be a huge variety. If I'm studying the pyramids in my middle school class, we need to have a great experience to go there. Uh, immersiveness, just getting better and better. And this has to be a safe and civil place with a thriving economy. These eight things are really what we're working on at Roblox. A couple things we're thinking about. Um, I wish we could be doing this right now. Um, it's hard to do this right now. 14 years ago, we used to say if there was a game, a medieval battle game with 50,000 participants where we're attacking the castle and we've got catapults and people are in the castle and the castle was physically destructible, that'd be a pretty cool game. Uh, well, it's 14 years later and we're still saying it. So that vision hasn't gone away, but I, I wanna just reach out and thank so many of our teams because we're making great progress here and you'll hear more about it. And we're making progress on uh, scale, parallelism, how to really behind the scenes take this incredible infrastructure that we have and get lots and lots of players hanging out together. We actually have started having our Roblox town halls in Roblox. And for those of you who have visited us as interns or incubators or accelerators, it's starting to feel quite a bit like Roblox headquarters, which is pictured above uh, in San Mateo. And besides um, needing the scale to support this, needing really great avatars that animate and track my facial animation, and uh, scale, we need one other thing to make that company meeting happen. We're starting to dive in on this. And this is the notion that in addition to stimulating how the real world works and how it looks, more and more we need to simulate how the real world sounds. And this goes to the notion that I wanna be able to whisper to that person next to me in a company meeting, well, I can hear the loudspeakers at the same time. And if I wanna to talk to a friend across the room, I can walk over there 
and immediately start talking with them. Uh, so call this physically simulated audio or spatial audio. This is coming and we think it's gonna be huge on Roblox. Many of you have seen the One World Together concert on Roblox. It's starting to show that notion of more and more uses for platforms like Roblox. And we and all of us know that ultimately many, many digital simulated concerts are gonna start happening on platforms around the world. And we've got a lot of awesome stuff coming. And we think this is another opportunity for developers to get in the mix and partner with the creator of these types of con conferences. Uh, one thing that we've got coming that we just know we need is game ratings. Uh, it's part of getting out of your way. And I know a lot of you want to make content that maybe is a little more mature, maybe a little edgier, maybe is more appropriate for 13 and up type players. And we're gonna help you do that. And we're gonna help route, route our players more and more to the appropriate content. Super visionary, very early. But I wanna let you know that in this vision of the metaverse, we think we walk around our Roblox world, we still bring our virtual cell phone with us rather than our physical cell phone with us. And the very hint, the very first hint you're gonna see of this is there are some things on Roblox like platform chat that it's hard to access while you're in a Roblox world. We'll use the metaphor of bringing your digital cell phone into our digital world to initially look at platform chat being available in every game you go to where your friends on platform chat can go from game to game. And then finally, uh, I'll share with you our personal vision of the future. And, and our vision of the future is really connecting the world on the Roblox platform and allowing you to connect with people. We believe this connection happens almost like a social utility where in addition to playing on Roblox, we're hoping more and more that there's meta creation on Roblox. Uh, many of your games and experiences are actually building and creation experiences themselves. And ultimately we want to allow someone to build a game, not in Roblox Studio, but in a game creation app that one of you might make. Uh, there's huge opportunity for people not just to learn on Roblox, but to go to school on Roblox, especially when they're working remote uh, in this type of time, and we'll support that. Uh, a lot of us are staying connected, and I mentioned how we'll experience entertainment together. And ultimately at Roblox, the way it's going to go down, we're all going to, on the side of our desktop, have Roblox running all the time. And we'll have Roblox as a 3D social utility so that when I want to walk over and talk to Jay Party, I can actually walk over and talk to Jay Party. And so that's our vision really is this type of platform allows us to work together as well. Okay, a little fun to wrap things up. Two, you, two years ago, for those of you that were with us, uh, we came up with Builder Man's predictions. And this is almost a little example of how we do product management at Roblox. We like to track how we're doing. I've got, uh, it looks like I've got two or three more years to go. Uh, you're seeing the original one in last year. Let's talk about how these predictions are coming down. Uh, prediction number one, no country with more than 50% of our top devs. This is gonna be right on, the, right on the margin, but we think we can get here. Um, next one. 1 million concurrency in a game. Thank you, Adopt Me. We passed that with uh, an amazing release one morning. It was about two months ago. Awesome. Uh, major brand releases a game to Roblox as their primary platform. We know this is coming. Very positive for that. I don't know which brand, but I'm pretty confident. Uh, I was more down last year on the idea of a national movie based on a developer's game or story or avatars. I'm reversing that. I believe it's gonna happen, so I'm going thumbs up based on that. Uh, we know 50 million people are gonna learn to code on Roblox, cha-ching. 
All right. This happened a lot earlier than we thought. So uh, shout out to Creek Craft. We went over $100,000 on or 100,000 people on a stream. That happened a lot earlier than we thought. Uh, single developer, uh, whoop, sorry, I'm going backwards one. Hitting 50, um, hitting a single developer with over um, 100,000 people in a stream we hit. And then on toys, whoop, one second, sorry about that. On 50% of toys sold, this is one we don't think is going to happen. And um, that said, we do think the toys that ultimately are compatible with Roblox are going down this direction. So good stuff happening here. Um, a single Roblox team or developer makes more than 50 million in a year. We're going to go cha-chink. We know that's going to happen either this year or next year. So cha-chink there. A hundred person company developing on Roblox. We know this is going to happen super positive here and whoever is the future president of the u.s will mention his or her roblox avatar on camera feeling very strong about that the more roblox is used as a social utility the more everyone i'm pretty much talking to is currently talking about sometimes their young kids and sometimes themselves having an avatar i think this is going to happen uh, we came very close to this and we could have done it. And that's premiering a national movie on Roblox. So this will happen. And then finally, uh, I love watching all of your Twitter feeds and I love the Roblox Tesla connection, the almost the unofficial car of Roblox. So I am reaching out to Elon. I'd like us to do something together. So we'll see if we can make that happen. Um, hey, in closing, uh, for all of you, I just want to say uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for working with us on the platform. It's been a really crazy four months, and I miss uh, the parties, the physical contact, but we're all learning together, and I hope uh, as we work through this together, we can learn to build a better ecosystem. I hope you're all safe and healthy. And I just thank you all from the bottom of my heart for being members of our community. Thank you.